guys, my name is Courtney Budzen and this is What's For Din. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make chocolate whiskey truffles. This is super good and it's perfect if you're trying to just give a gift to somebody but you don't know what to give them and you want to make, kind of make it personal without just going to the store and buying a box of chocolates. This is absolutely perfect and this is super good for those of you ladies who have a certain time frame in which you crave chocolate like a madman and you need a little bit of extra painkiller. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So let's go over the ingredients. They're very simple. You're just gonna need some bittersweet chocolate chips, some heavy whipping cream. You're gonna need some vanilla extract, some instant espresso powder or instant coffee powder, the same thing. And you're gonna need some good quality whiskey. And then at the end, we're gonna roll them in some chopped pecans and some unsweetened cocoa powder. It can be sweetened, it doesn't matter. So let's go over to the stove and we'll get started. So in my pot, I put my heavy whipping cream and I turned my heat on about medium high and we're just gonna to wanna to bring this to a simmer. You do not wanna boil it, then you're gonna curdle it. You don't wanna do any of that. So just bring it to a simmer and before that happens, I'm going to add my vanilla, my whiskey, and my instant um, coffee powder. Well, and try not to get it all over the place. So just give this a nice mix and then allow that to come up to a simmer and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, you can see it's just starting to simmer. So I'm gonna take it off the burner and I'm gonna pour it right over top of all my chocolate chips. Okay, and just like that, we're just gonna put the lid right on that so that it'll sit for about two minutes so that it'll melt all those chocolate chips. We'll come back and mix it up and it'll be a perfectly creamy ganache. So I'll come back when that's ready. My chocolate's been sitting for two minutes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix it all together. Oh yeah, look at that. And just like that, you have a beautiful ganache on your hands, and you're one step closer to making some truffles. So I'm just going to put the lid right back on that, and this is the easy part. You're just going to throw it in the refrigerator for one hour at least. You can do this overnight if you want. Then we're going to roll them up and make some truffles. So I'll see you then. Okay, my ganache was in the refrigerator for about three hours. You want to leave it in as long as you can, um, minimum of one, but it's going to be kind of weird when you're trying to ball it up. So all I do is I use ice cream scoop, and I don't take the exact amount of the ice cream scoop, but I put a little bit in my hand and I roll it around in a ball. This is fun to do with your kids, but your hands are going to look gross, but it is what it is. Then I have my cocoa powder here. I have some walnuts, and you can even do some coconut if you want. I'm gonna do some walnuts. Just coat it in there, just like that. And then I put them onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper so that I can put these back into the refrigerator and so that they can harden. So I'm gonna do the rest, put them in the refrigerator so that they can set even more. And then I'll show you what it looks like when they're done. Okay, all my truffles have been sitting in the refrigerator for quite some time, I'd say about an hour. The longer you let them sit, the more harder they're gonna become. And then as soon as you pull them out, they're just gonna become more and more soft. And you also notice that I put them in these little mini tiny cupcake liners. You can find these at any bakery store or you can just find them in the grocery aisle uh, with all the baking goods. Sometimes you can't and if you can it's not a big deal but I just think it's really pretty to present them in this sort of manner. If you brought these out as a dessert to your guests they would flip out. At least I would. And if anyone gave me this as a gift I would love them forever. So I guess which one do I want? Let's do this one. As you can see, I don't like to make them really small. So if you cut the sides in half, it will double the recipe. So I would suggest doing that, but I prefer them huge because I always end up eating like three in one sitting anyway, but that's just me. Mm. So fudgy. You can taste the alcohol slightly, but it's not overpowering. Now, if you're under the age of 21, just leave the alcohol out. You don't need it, it's not a big deal. And then just make the recipe without it, it's fine. So if you wanna make this recipe, just look below in the description box for all the measurements. And please don't forget to subscribe because I have many more recipes to come. And as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon, bye.